Linus Tech Tips coverage of CES 2014 is brought to you by NCIX.com, your source for great technology, selection, and service, along with Corsair Memory and Western Digital. So we got some special treatment, and we're going to be, both me and Edsel are going to be jumping into the Oculus HD prototype demo here at the Intel booth. I think someone just tripped over our tripod, but we're not phased by that because we don't even have to be in this world anymore. We're going into a virtual world with, like, spaceships and stuff. You know what, I've only used uh, I've only used the Rift before once and it was not the HD model. So it was a bit of a different experience. Um, I, actually the last time I tried it, it was on the Virtuix Omni of all things. Wow, okay, I'll get the controls figured out a little bit here at some point. <laughs> there we go. It's a little bit surreal looking down. At, okay, that's a little actually creepy is looking down and seeing the arm of some dude like here and like legs that could just as easily be yours as anyone else's. Um, and look behind you as well. <laughs> okay, so the whole, wow, for racing or for, uh, for flight sim, this is absolutely amazing. I only played a first person shooter last time around, but this is a whole, I mean, the holy grail of, of racing or flight sim used to be uh, like surround monitors around you and there was kind of this contrived thing where you could you know you could check your rear view mirror okay it's a little disorienting at first where you could check your rear view mirror by looking behind you at a different monitor but this is a lot more natural it actually it weirded me out I went to adjust my glasses without sort of realizing that it's a whole huge thing in front of me I got to say, um, you know, hearing John Carmack talk about the future of Oculus at NVIDIA's events um, a couple months ago where he was saying that the true holy grail is going to be low persistence and 4K, I see what he means, but compared to the early dev kits, which were running at a much lower resolution, 1080p is, oh, that's, that's really weird. Looking down at your chest, like I, I could be touching my groin right now, except I'm not, but that's my like digital character. There's some kind of alert going on. There's a bit of a problem, evidently, but holy crap. And the whole, the whole, the, the helmet thing is, that it's not, it's not that uncomfortable. It's not perfect yet. Like I can feel a little bit of a pressure point on my nose, but when you consider sort of the type of game we're playing, which is a flight sim, uh, it doesn't feel that unnatural to have, oh, sorry. <laughs> I can't, I'm like, I'm like, oh, that's like space out there, right? No, actually that's Mark. Um, I mean, when you've got sort of your headphones on and your, and your helmet on, you actually just feel like you're wearing a flight helmet. It's a lot more immersive. Oh, I died. Alrighty then. They're launching me again. Maybe we'll do a, maybe we'll do a trade off here. I can trade off with my, uh, my, my camera operator, Edsel. I don't, it's kind of it's weird, like I don't know where to go. I feel like if I, if I got up, I should just get up out of the chair, but, but then, then I don't move, but then I do. Some people have been talking about headaches with it almost, uh, you know, almost kind of, kind of like normal 3D. And even though it's running in 3D, um, from 3D vision, unless it's a very low persistence display, I'll usually get a headache within about 30 seconds. And I don't have any headache whatsoever up till now, so. Being able to just track people, just, it's perfect. I think the conclusion for the Oculus HD prototype video is actually fairly straightforward. Um, I think we're both buying one. That's all.